going on? What is going on, man? Shout out to the CIA, the competent, intelligent, and assertive men out there. One love to the FBI, the feminine, beautiful, inspirational ladies in the house. Want to talk, talk to you guys about a topic, a subject that I've been putting a lot of thought into since I heard something. Since I heard something, and I want you guys to just open your mind for half a second before you decide to close your ears like so many folks do. Like these glasses, half tortoise shell. Now, let's put these on. Um, like you close your eyes like so many people. I want you guys to think about this. Dating doesn't work. Dating does not work for modern people. It does not work. It simply does not work. To accomplish the, to accomplish the point. Um, where am I thinking about this? Well, you know what? I can show you better than I can tell you. Let's listen to something I heard on another show. Okay. Um, so I don't know what I'm expecting to, what am I looking for? For me being in a relationship for one year versus uh, us getting married straight away because... There's nothing that you're not going to know about someone without being with them anyway. But I'm not going to waste time and... How can I say this? I'm not going to allow time for me to have premarital sex, you know, because I'm not going to... If you're not having sex with a person, you're not going to stay that long with them before you get married, okay? We're not just going to sit around and talk. So we get married to prevent us from fornicating, from possibly having premarital sex, you know, by accident, as I said. So that's why we tend to get married. And also, if things go wrong, then they go wrong. But this is why your father is there to vet your man. This is why the families are so involved. To be that net, if something does go wrong, the family is there. And the family has already vetted that person for me. My father already spoke to my husband. My father already knew the type of man my husband was. Men tend to see things in other men that women can't. I don't know why, but from what I've seen here is like, girls, we tend to be kind of slow when it comes to picking <laughs> partners because it's hard for women to get past that adrenaline, that adrenaline of like, oh, I like this guy because he's exciting and he, you know, he makes me feel so butterflies. But my father knew how to pick a stable man for me. He knew how to pick one that was hardworking man who wasn't going to let bills get behind, let things just happen. So I, I hope that answers your question. I hope that I understood the question right. You did. You... Like it or not, now this is a question for grown folks, not for boys, not for girls. So um, this is for people who are really trying to have an outcome, not people who are trying to be right. Ladies, the data is in. You don't know how to pick men for relationships. You simply don't. And that's not new. Women worldwide have this issue. This is what you heard that woman say. That woman knew her husband for five weeks. And as the story goes, they were at some party or something. Her husband, her to-be husband came through the door, saw her across the room, said, who is that? That so-and-so, oh, I think she's attractive. One of the people went over and said, hey, old boy says he thinks you're attractive or whatever. He says, well, if he likes me, he knows what to do. And from that point on, that guy went over and talked to her family, her father and her brothers, and they negotiated and talked about it and went to their sister or their daughter and said, uh, are you interested in marrying this man? He wants her to marry. You have the choice. And she said, yes, they were married. When I talk to several women, I'm like, what is it that you think you are going to learn in dating somebody? Because no matter what, no matter what you guys have to say, every time we talk about it on my channel, I was with him for two, three, four, five years. Then we got married for six months and we are divorced. How many times do you hear people say it changed after marriage? So like it or not, you can only know so much. Modern women, you got to admit you don't know how to pick, you, and you're taking too long. What does she say? I'm not going to waste all this time dating. Dating him does not help you marry him. 
You have to make a choice. But what if I make the wrong choice? Then if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. You're making the wrong choices anyway, and you're not getting anything out of it. Why are so many of you ladies? Oh, because your fathers aren't there. You don't have any men to talk to. Men know what to look for. You don't. That being said, for modern women who want to be in a long-term relationship, dating is dumb. What are you going to know? Well, I've heard people say, well, people can put their best foot forward. And in month three, it may be different than month one. So, you still don't know until you're living with somebody. Every, every excuse you make, I can say the same thing. You don't know. And I think it's funny, especially in our community. So many women feel far worse about being a divorcee than being a baby mama. So being a baby mama, but being a divorcee, uh, see, in our culture, it's like, well, nobody wants to be a divorcee, but we got no problem with these 10-year relationships that go nowhere. Stupid. Bottom line is, ladies, <clears throat> you take too long to get married. How many times on my channel do you hear women say, uh, well, he was wanting to get married, but I wasn't sure. You know why you're not sure? Your mama and them did that to you. Your mama, your auntie, big mama, nene and them did that to you. Made you doubt what men are worth, what, how you should pick a man. No men around you. So ladies, how do you plan on getting this fixed? I don't want to make a mistake. Buy a dog and die alone. Because unless you're making enough money to cover two incomes, you can't do it by yourself. Go marry your sister, girlfriend. Hashtag go find it. Why are you dating? And here's the thing. The older you get, the quicker you should make a decision. My mother didn't date her husband for, for two years. They knew each other for a few months and they were married. How long do you need? Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Let's get to it. I want to hear some of you modern. I got a PhD college educated women tell me, well, you need time to get to know somebody. No, no, no. All you're going to do is pick somebody that you're physically attracted to, that you like as sex, and you're going to try to make that shit work versus picking the guy that you should be with, the guy who knows how to protect, provide, pay bills on time, do this, do this, and that. But your coochie might not tingle as much. He might not blow your back out. But the roof will stay in your goddamn house. You don't know how to pick. And you date dumb. You date dumb. Why? Because 80% 80 80 of divorces are filed by whom? In relationships in the West, in a 50 plus percent divorce rate, women file 70 to 90% of the time. It is women leaving relationships. It is women slow rolling relationships. It is women wrecking their own homes. This is not a problem with the men, ladies. It's a problem with you. Let's get into it. So Ready? I'm curious, why don't you like people? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How about you introduce it? I don't know you. you haven't said hello. You just came in. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. How old are you? I am 39. All right. Uh, you mind getting steady, steady, steady? Let me grab my glasses so I can, so I can focus on you. Just a second. Thank you for your patience. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Dating is dumb. What do you got? Dating is dumb. Hmm. I mean, women don't know how to. Women don't know how to pick husbands. They don't know how to pick men. You know, I don't know if I'm an expert, but. You gotta date someone to get to know them. No, you don't. What do you got to know? Their personality. No, you don't. Triggers. No, you don't. No, no. What? What? Where? When did dating become a thing? I don't know. You know, my mother is Muslim. They believe you should just get. When married. did dating become? Yeah, because that's what it. Because that's what you do. Because you don't know nobody until you live with them. When did date? Did you go to college? Yes. Did you graduate? I did. Okay. About what decade did dating become a thing? Not the 60s, maybe the 70s. About the 50s when they decided to start making a greeting card industry. Dating became a thing to sell homes and rings. Prior to that, your grandmother and your great-grandmother, if you wanted to get married, you walked over to somebody, you got a wife, daughters of marrying age, I need a woman. 
make the arrangement, jump the room, get on down. You didn't even have to have a marriage license until the the miscegenation laws came into effect to keep black men and black women, black men from marrying white women. You didn't even need a license. Okay, Dating well, has never been the thing. Well, marry me tomorrow. No, I got somebody already. About me. <laughs> I mean, I, I can I um understand your philosophy. It's not my philosophy. It's the world's philosophy. When what? Where in the world did people date? Um, in America, that's for starters. No, no, um, the newest country on the planet. You know, I don't know. I feel like if I hadn't dated the guys that um, are you married? I am not married. I'm, I'm divorced. Okay. So you know, there's that. Mm-hmm. So before we dated, we had a marital rate of. Before 1965, the black community was married at a rate of 80%. How is dating helping black women keep husbands? You know, I don't know if it's dating. I think social media may not be great. Okay, but before social media, before 2000, divorce rates were still going down. You said you need to get to know somebody. What do you need to get to know? I don't know if dating is the main contributor, not to... Yeah. Ma'am, you're not making a good. You basically you're saying I don't like what you're saying, but you're not saying why what you're saying makes any sense. I'll say that because women, we're changing our 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 roles are changing. Yeah, you're getting worse. <sighs> okay. You're changing into men. Well, I don't believe in changing into men. You I are. Think, you no are. Okay. Let when, me tell you why. Let me tell you why women are changing into men. Uh, what's the average height of a, a, a black woman? A woman in this country. Five eight, five four. How much does an average black woman weigh in this country? That I don't know. Guess. 150. 180. Okay. The average black woman weighs more than the average black man at her height. Strong, independent, don't need no man. A black woman, stereotypically known for being feminine, submure, feminine, cooperative, and submissive. Stereotypically. Yes, no. Yes. They are? You know, I can't speak on that. I no, yeah, that. you can. Yeah, you can. See, if we're not going to have an honest conversation, we don't need to do this. Well, Stereotypically, are you, are, are black women, are black women, thought, when you think of feminine, cooperative, submissive, is black, are the black woman's image the image that pops to the top of your mind? Even oh, in black no. media. No. Thank you. No. So black women in general, in our community in particular are getting worse did you not just walk see this woman walk up and shoot a woman point blank in the head in brooklyn i did no. so how are you telling me my women are becoming like men have you seen world star hip-hop you see women are actually fucking each other up they're beating men yes that's all i'm saying so let's have an honest conversation it's not I, getting better i i, I agree I, let's, okay. let's start with agree no buts um where I was going was okay. my role was, you know, I, I do believe that women should maintain their, their their role. Me personally, if we were to entertain your subject last week, um, I've been working on my feminism, being more submissive, you know. My subject I, last week. I think you were talking about, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, talking about women, um, maybe firstborn women who learn from their mothers who may well, I was talking about sister daughter but let's sister try to, daughter, exactly. yeah, but let's try to let's try to stick to this week though because some people may not have been there this week okay um so no I, I truly believe in that and uh, what I mean by roles is you know we are in power what is your what is your role um as a I'm woman gonna, what's a woman's role on the planet my role on the planet is to nurture to teach um I think I feel that every nope, woman nope, being on no nope, no nope. It's not your role. The female's role is to support the male. That's that's. Don't you think that's a narrow path? Name me any species on the planet where the female can survive without the group or the male individually. Or name vice versa. We don't need you to survive. We built the world. You, you need, need us, to rip. You need no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, no. See, you feminist, womanist, have no idea. You're living counter to nature. That's what the coronavirus showed you, that your education and your ability to get out of here, and you can't nurture shit without a man and a family. Your job is, the, the female, the man's job is to build. The woman's job is to nest. 
correct and to teach. Nest Every what? Teach what? Earth, teach learn, what? Woman, teach what? Um, values. To um, whom? Love, to whom? Love, to whom? To their offspring. Thank you. And you need a husband for that first. All I'm, I'm agreeing. All I'm saying is that it takes two. No, it takes women to get, women are out of their, are women in their natural role a way that nature intended or out of their natural role? Um, I can agree to that. I feel that men have, are, are no, out of no, 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 no. See, that's the bullshit we've been running in the black community for the longest. To the black men aren't the one complaining about marriage and not being unprotected being alone. I mean, Everything black you, men have a more so of a problem with commitment than women. Right, right, right. This is, the stats don't agree. The stats don't agree. When the, in the black in the black community, the, the black community the divorce rate is almost sixty percent. Almost ninety percent of divorces are filed by whom? I don't know the answer. Women. Okay, hit me with the facts. That's what I. That's do. the facts. So who's leaving your own? Man? If one in four of you were marrying, eighty to ninety percent of you filed divorce when divorce is filed. Who has a problem with staying in a relationship? I think that women have a problem because men don't necessarily. Always a woman. Our tell me what's wrong with women and stop blaming. Tell me what what women are doing I'm right and don't blame men. Because everything you talked about a woman is always linked it back to a man. I keep talking to you about what women are doing with women. I think that women have responsibility as well. well then let's talk about it then, because every time I've talked to you, you've lacked, you've deflected and lacked accountability, like most feminists. I don't know. I don't necessarily think I'm a feminist. I think I'm pretty uh, you are. masculine. You and are. On being more well, feminine. Uh, feminine, masculine. But the thing is, you can only do that in a first world country. Carry your ass to a third world country. See how that works. I don't want to go. Of course not, because you couldn't be this. You couldn't be masculine over there. You get checked real quick. And let you know exactly I, where you are in nature. What I mean by masculine is I'm an independent woman. I've been... Really? Yes. And I don't necessarily agree. Independ independent meaning what? You got I a job? I own bills. Yeah. Congratulations. You're an adult. Oh, I, I agree. So why is that a badge of honor? I don't necessarily know. Are you a bad. six figure earner? Yes. Okay. How many children do you have? children yet you're a six-figure earner divorcee with no children mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are you happy i'm extremely happy i think really? i'm a little too happy you're, alone um, you too, you're too happy i'm i'm in a relationship um however it's taking a little longer than i'd like for us to get married and so um i've decided how long you been in a relationship for four years. Does he have any children? No, he does not. Does he earn more than you? Uh, yes, he does. Are you guys in a monogamous, committed relationship? We are. Did he want to marry you? He says he does. Did you enter this relationship with the intention of getting married day one? Were you dating to be married from day one? We both. Were you dating to be married from day one? We both I'm, a, I'm asking you. I can't talk. I don't want to talk for him. Were you dating from day one with the intention to be married? Those are always my intentions to build a foundation. Yes. No, I asked a very specific question. You can't play word games with me. So I'm going to try one more time. When you started dating this man, were you dating this man with the intent of being married? Yes. Okay. In what time frame? Uh, considering that we both went through a divorce. In I, what I, time frame? I, I say three to four years, like right now. <laughs> three to four years. Why did you need three to four years if you started dating with the intention to be married on day one? Where does that make any sense in the world? I don't know. I think I figured that would be the the average amount of time to really yeah really three to four years for dating for marriage can't make this shit up people what did i say women are the reason marriages don't happen because you take forever well it's not me that's holding it well no ma'am yeah it is because if, if we go if you said you're dating with the intention to be married you set the time frame of three to four years and i'm saying it takes what 
a month to six at best. Oh, there have been six are? couple. There have been six couples that have five couples that have gotten married in my Facebook group, and they've been married in less than six months. They've met each other and been getting married in under six months. Three years? Did your grandmother date your grandfather for three years? No. No. So why don't we just rewind and say, you know what? I may not like the way you say it, Kevin, but even based upon what I'm saying, we don't know how to date because if I use myself as an example, you, you're the very woman I'm talking about. Successful, college educated, and all this other stuff. Six figures, happy, but no closer to marriage today than you were four years ago. And you still in a relationship with somebody who ain't put a ring on your finger in four years? He ain't got the problem, you do. I don't know if it's that simple. It is that simple. You should leave. If I you want to be married, why are you with somebody who ain't put a ring on your finger in four years? Well, actually, I'm in the process of um, kind of just pouring in my own cup until, you know, it, it, it play out. So, again, folks, this is why I say women are too, don't know how to pick men. Listen I to what think, I said. I really Listen to what I said. I'm, audience, I'm talking to you, audience. Everything I've said, whether you like it or not, this woman has proved it. Four years. You said you started dating this man with an intention to be married. It okay, does not take four effing years. What I should do without well, first, forcing. Uh, first of all, what first of all, first of all, after your divorce, did you get any therapy? Yes. All right. Why why did you and your first husband divorce? Oof. Um we were who not filed for, who filed for divorce? Um who filed for divorce? It was a mutual decision. Who filed for divorce? It was it was mutual. Who filed for divorce? I um Who filed for divorce? It was it, Who filed for divorce? I can't necessarily Who filed for divorce? I did. Thank you. It's not a very hard question. You filed for divorce. Well, in that, in that you filed for the man, ma'am. You just filed for divorce. That's all okay, I'm asking. You filed, no, ma'am. You filed for divorce. You filed for divorce. You filed. You filed for the. You filed. You filed for the. You picked him. You married him. You picked him, and you filed for divorce. You, like I said again, you can't make this shit up. You didn't pick the right the first time. You shouldn't have been met picking somebody without a job, getting married, and then you wrecked your own home. You left a man who didn't have a job. You knew well, what he was. You. I don't care. This is what I mean. You guys pick on potential and shit. This is this is why I say college educated, independent, earner, making these kind of decisions, you be better off if a man would be able to direct you. But this is the first go around. You said you had therapy. If you've had therapy, then that means you should, if you work the program process, you should be making better decisions afterwards. And now you're in a relationship of four years and you still ain't married. The only common denominator in all this chaos is you. The man doesn't want to marry you. Now, it's either one of two things. One, does he want to get married? Are you a wife? Because it's been my experience, a marrying man, a man who wants to get married, they snap women up who are wives like this. Women who are truly wives, men oh. rush to pull them off the market. Trust and believe, I've been proposed to several times. I feel the same. That ain't, that ain't, that's not a real, that did not make your case any better. I mean, I feel that when a man knows what he wants, he doesn't. That didn't make well, it any better, man. That, made it, that made it absolutely worse. But well, if that's the case, then you should know better. And why are you with somebody for four years if you've seen that? See, so that's my point. It's a little mm. bit different that we both nope. have gone through divorce. Nope, nope, nope. I don't, no, nope, nope. I don't think it's that. I think it's the fact of the matter is he probably hit your spot the right way and you making something try to work that ain't meant to work. That's why men should be in charge of this stuff because y'all are too emotional. What did that woman say? Because our feelings get involved and we get all emotional and they're tingly places and men can see things in other men that we can't see. Men hold on. And this this is the stupid, excuse me, I'm going to say this. Y'all do this stupid shit all the time. Men do it too. Y'all do it too. That makes, that doesn't help you. The fact of the matter is, man, Four years of wasted time. And I said, dating is dumb. It doesn't help you. Well, you need to know somebody. In four years, you ain't down the aisle. What you need, 20? How many years do you need to date before it works? I don't 
don't know. People have so many secrets and stuff. Ain't nobody. So no, many, okay, so so how you gonna know the secret? You how you, so so later. so you need to know it. So in other words, thank you. This is going. This shit is going to probably go super viral because people are gonna think I paid you. Because, ma'am, I get what you're saying, and all it's fear-based. People have so many secrets. So, what do you think? You're gonna, you still spend the same amount of calendar years with that person. You're just not legally married, right? Mm -hmm. What are you protecting? My assets. <laughs> oh my fucking god! I did not pay this woman. I swear to God, <laughs> I didn't pay her. I did not pay her. Um. Okay. So her honestly, assets. What am I, what am Holy I protecting? shit! I'm protecting. I'm protecting. Um my future and the foundation that I want to build. You have, and man, I, no, you are now protecting not your future. Your most valuable asset is your time. Your most valuable asset as a woman is your time. Absolutely. And you've taken four years of your valuable time. You're 30 what? Nine. 39. You are effectively done with children are a remote possibility. No, not necessarily. I said remote possibility i don't care who you are ma'am you're past geriatric pregnancy most no, obgyn I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm speaking from a from a place of, of knowing not guessing i'm speaking from a place of science most obgyns don't recommend carrying a child past age 42. that's why i said remote i didn't say none okay shame insults guilt and the need to be right the need to be right tends to be heavy in our phd women PhD. That's why this whole thing, everything, men do it too, something and so forth. It's in a place where you're trying to get some information, still trying to be right. Bottom line is, man, you're trying to protect your asset. The most valuable asset any woman has is her womb and her time, and you wasted it. Four years, and you don't have a ring, a commitment, no nothing. So if this is over, then what? You're going to go back out there? You can't go back and be 29, 19. You're going to be 40 years old with frozen eggs. Possibly. Right. A lot of women are having children at an at, at the age of thirty nine to forty one these days. I that swear to God, I, God, I swear, I, guys, I swear to God, I didn't pay her. <laughs> I'm listening. I mean, can you answer this for me? Um, I think I told you. Okay, so I've wasted my time. I should have moved on. You say at after a month or. A you year? shouldn't spend. You shouldn't spend a year with nobody, especially as oh, you've been you've been married and divorced. You should be better at picking than a young girl. You don't think that the divorce rate would go up if people I don't give a shit about the divorce rate. I'm talking about you. Okay. See, notice how every time we start getting specific, that you want to get general and talk about everything else except the person in the mirror. You. Why'd you pick you? The man you picked to marry had no job or well, low, he, low, low earning. He, he worked in construction and he had gigs, but in terms of us being equally yoked financially, um, not. Well, why don't you like marry a guy that you really made a college? And why don't you? So since you've been proposed to before, did you say you've been proposed to? Yes. Before their first husband. Yes. Why didn't you pick one of those guys? Because they didn't make me tingle. It's actually a funny story. You don't want to no, know. No, I really don't. It's not funny. None of this shit's funny to me. I get tired of seeing so many of our sisters unmarried, childless, and sad, trying to act well, like you're happy. I found out that he, the, the other two proposals, one, I was way too young, um, and the second one before my marriage, um, he was like a pun artist, and I found out that... It's always something. No, no, this was serious. You picked a, you picked a guy who was unequally financially yoked, but you picked him. Did. I believed in him. Uh huh. Then why'd you stop? But then you walked down the aisle and you committed to him. Oh, I went to court and committed to him. Yes. Mm -hmm. You went down the aisle and committed to him. Went down the court. They still use the same vows. Yes. And you said your mother's Muslim. She is. Are you? Are you a believer in anything? I'm Christian. Ain't none of this shit Christian. I mean Christianity. Christianity, if nothing else. Tells you definitely your place, your place is where Eve was. Help me, support system. So after the first one, and you were out of alignment, picking somebody who could not cover the garden, much less cover you, then you decide to get therapy, cool. Then you're in something for four years. 
It was a great four years we've traveled. Well, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad, but it's a four. But again, she's, I swear to uh, guys, what I say, they don't mind wasting their time. Some women don't mind having babies, but it's still nothing. You've got nothing. You got no husband, nothing on that. You wasted four years protecting your assets. No disrespect, ma'am, but unless you are wealthy, what you have as assets ain't worth a whole lot. But it's all you got, and it's easier to say you'd rather have money than this. You didn't. You didn't marry a I mean, man who wants to marry my you. My happiness. I'm very content. Okay, then then you shouldn't be worried about getting married either. So if you because if you're happy, then this if you're happy, then marriage shouldn't be on table. You should be right here. Well, there should be a next I level. The things I just let, you know I, what. I don't have, I, like I said, I'm not the one who don't want to get married. I don't have control to your point. You don't have yes. control of what? You it have control of whether you're in a relationship than, with than a man done. you don't want to marry? It's not easier said than done. To walk away from someone that you love more than anyone ever? That's guys, not, that's guys, true. listen, go back to the beginning where Amira was saying, this is why you get married because you're going to be with somebody and have sex and get all involved and make stupid decisions. This is all I need. This is going to be the only interview I need because this is picture perfect. And sadly, this is too much the case. And instead of just admitting, uh, I don't know how to pick. I pick wrong. And I pick based upon things that don't work. And saying you're happy, a happy woman will be with her man and doing something else right now. Not talking about I don't have control. What do you mean don't have control? You I'm said happy. you want to be married. That's what you said you wanted. To the right person, yes. Oh, now you can. Now you. Now you're gonna start. Now you're gonna start. Uh, now you're gonna start the bargaining part. So now he's not the right person. Um, absolutely. Like I said, it's not. So you said you want to be married to the right person. The implication in that sentence was he wasn't the right person. So he is the right person. You want to be married to him? Yes or no? I do want to. Then, be then when you I want to be married to him. Yes. You, when do you want to marry him? 10 years from now? No, like I said, I'm ready now. Um, then how I'm can you be how can you be day. happy? How can you be happy with somebody you say you want to marry right now and you don't have a wedding ring, a proposal, or any plans in the future? We have plans. The, where's the wedding Girl, ring words, and the proposal? I, mean, I agree. Words, you know, that's not it. And this is happy. This is modern I mean, women. This is modern. This is modern. This is why dating is dumb for modern women. You don't know how to pick. Well, it's easier said than done. I don't want to hear all this, man. American it's culture. not easier said than done. No, no. You live in a dysfunctional culture where you guys have been allowed complete freedom and you don't know how to pick. That's the problem. So all them women back and we had so all those restrictions. What one thing you don't find a lot from women when these cultures where they get married quickly arranged, they're much happier than you are because they're in their natural role. They got their family, their kids, their husbands. They don't have all this trauma from all these broken relationships. They don't have all the dick this they don't have all these dudes that they've been bouncing back and forth with because they've been with one person. Y'all a I bunch of trauma. So, so so what do you got? Hundred thousand dollars in a hundred thousand dollars and a hundred thousand miles on a heart. And nothing to show for it. And this time we start saying this shit. This doesn't work, ma'am. What do how do families come out of this? How does a community come out of this? It doesn't. Because there's no next step. It's perpetual high school. So I don't care about your income, your education. If we're going to move through life like a bunch of damn high schoolers at the beginning, courting, we talking, we enjoying each other. We never grow the fuck up. Yeah, it's bad. And, you know, I, I'm not trying to pinpoint, but I feel that from my experience and my friend's experience, um, there is a lot of men that do not respect women. We're not just. Ma'am, I don't want to hear about men. I want to hear about. I don't want to hear. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear about this. I, so I, I'm not. I'm talking to you and your man. I would not let you come on here and talk about all these men and make it their problem. Go to Oprah. Go to the View. Go somewhere else. That ain't this channel. The man you with don't respect you. Um. The man you with does he respect you or not? 
The that, man you with, does he respect you? Yes or no? In some areas, no. Then why are you there? Because Thank I Thank you. You're a strong, independent. He, you're an independent. If he doesn't taking, respect you, why are you there? Because he's taking the necessary steps to... Pro- because to, you're choosing to be with a man. Because you're choosing important. to be with you're choosing to be with a man that doesn't respect you. Just like you chose to be with a dude that was unequally financially yoked. You don't know how to pick what works. I can, I can, I, I don't so don't tell it. me about the men that are out there because you've been proposed to many times. What about all the guys that were suitable and willingness? Did they make you tingle? You gotta have a tingle, right? Yeah, and, and this is what you get you. Tingling and alone. <laughs> oh, I take it. <laughs> I don't find it funny. I don't find it funny because in the West, like it or not, I don't know. I'm gonna tell you why I don't find it funny. I don't find it funny because just like in the West, your the next lowest married group of women is white women at 40, 54 percent. They're the original feminists and womanists, but you know what they had enough sense to do? Get married, have families. Well, I don't like being compared to a white woman because they don't have. I don't. The same I'm not comparing. Ma- I don't. I'm comparing marital. Ra- don't country. overtalk me Let's on my clear. channel. Don't overtalk me on my channel. I'm comparing the marital rates. I don't care. I'm not comparing you to white women. Well, you just said white women. I said the next lowest group of married women are white women. That's what I said. Well, just relax. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Relax. Are you doing, are you gonna try to do this racial shit? That's not what I was doing. Okay. I just get. I feel if I'm if I can if I can um, share my opinion. I feel like you have a lot of tension when it comes to women. I'm not saying I'm not going far left and saying that you don't like women and you bash women, but I feel that there's tension here. And for black women in particular, and I think that you have to go a little deeper than I have no patience for stoop. I have no, I have no, I have no patience for things that don't work when you are supposed to be educated, intelligent, independent, and you can look at art, you can look at facts, data, statistics, and you can make good business decisions for companies and corporations that you work for. But in your personal life, you decide to be stupid. I have no patience for foolishness. When you can be a college educated woman and then turn around and marry a broke construction worker. No, I don't because it affects our black community because you know what comes out of this? One out of four of our women will get married when the next group of people are married at a rate of 54% or higher. That's how come they have generational wealth. That's why their dollars circulate anywhere from seven days to 16 days and ours circulate six hours. That's why black boys are reading at the fourth grade level. That's why black boys and black girls are at the bottom. I have no patience because you women are the first teachers of children and 80% of our children will come out of single mother homes. I got no patience for that shit. And why do you? didn't say I, I didn't mm. you know it's, it's my journey moving forward I appreciate your your advice appreciate it I don't know why we should think we should have patience for this shit go back to G6 if you want to have somebody have patience with it make sure you pay your tithes and offers on time the collection plate coming through you want patience going over there they got plenty of patience and plenty of room in the front row the men the share your reflection who hear this shit have no patience and the men that share your reflection that you're passing up to deal with dudes that don't that ain't about nothing then when those very men that you don't have time for decide to go after becky marisol modeling then all of a sudden they selling out they don't like it they hate they hate their mama such and so forth you can't top that shit all of it in one thing that's what it is Excuse after excuse after excuse. And we need more accountability, sitting back and saying, no, this doesn't work. Four years, seven years, six years. I'm happy. If I find you uploading my stuff to YouTube, expect your channel to be gone by tomorrow. All right. I'm serious. I don't know why we should be patient with this. I 
Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, how old are you? I am 31. All right, well, I guess I'm sure you saw the topic. What do you got on? Dating is dumb. So I agree with you. Um, and especially now after hearing the first lady speak and kind of putting the pieces together. And mm -hmm. I do agree that I think um, females, we don't necessarily look for the right things. For example, myself, I didn't, I wasn't like sexually active until my 20s. So mm -hmm. sex was always out of the picture when it came to relationships. So I had a list of basically like all of the responsible things that I was looking for in a man. Finally, when I found that, um, the sex was off, but I still stayed with the man for like four mm -hmm. years. Willing Are you to married? Guy. Are you, okay. The sex is off, but everything else is right. Yeah. Did like he, he was but, responsible. But hold on, hold on. Did you want to get married? I did. I mean, in the back of did my you, mind. Did you, did you want to get married going into the relationship? Did of you, course, yeah. Was he marriage-minded going into the relationship? He was. He was like a traditional type of person, like getting married before babies and all that. So, and you guys didn't marry? We didn't. We ended so up living together. For four years? That's the thing. So I thought I was on the right track. and But now hearing the way that you're saying it, it's true. This is how you end up 40 alone with no kids because um, you waste so much time thinking or being scared that something will go wrong. So you're basically running out the clock to them be like, oh, I was right. Thank God I don't, gotta, I don't have to get divorced now. We just mm -hmm. have to break up. That's it. So, yeah. So my thing is like, how do you get over that initial fear? Because I mean, no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. And I'm still- um, Do you ever learn how to swim? I'm sorry? Did you ever learn how to swim? I did, but I don't remember it specifically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how do they, they get people uh, afraid of getting in the deep end of the pool? I You just shove them in, I guess. You Thank can. you. Yeah. Just like you and the other woman proved there's no amount of taking it slow, moving in this and that. All you get out of that is the same level of exposure and heartbreak, but nothing, no tax break, no nothing. And it's generally not the men who are hesitant. Modern women are one foot in, one foot out because you're one foot in, you want traditional men, but you want to be modern women. You got to pick. If you want to be a modern woman, buy a dog, go live with your girlfriend. You want to be a traditional woman, get in leadership, get in role, get in your life, get in your role. Because he has a role, you have a role. Whether you work, both are working or not, but you cannot have it all. And when you try to have it all as a modern woman, you have what you guys have, nothing. And unfortunately, we don't have these conversations. We have women telling women to... Take your time, don't make a mistake, except and so forth. So when somebody like myself comes along and say, what are y'all waiting for? It sounds like, it sounds crazy. But what really sounds crazy is when you guys get to explain what you're doing instead. So that's why I hope women hear these things so they'll start saying, at least if you were married, you'd have four years into a marriage. But that's the thing. It seems like today many women don't even value a man like him being in the house. You said you guys live together? Yeah. How long? Um, out of the four years, we were together for two and a half, living together. Okay. So what was the thought process of moving in together and not getting married? Well, I was in a circumstance where I couldn't move back with my parents. And mm -hmm. I also could. So it was basically like financially wise for the both of us. Okay. Um, Did he want to marry you? Yeah. we. But he, But you didn't want to commit to him. Like, yeah, I was going to wait for him to propose and I just didn't, at the wait, end of the day, okay, I, uh, okay, I was but, like complacent. If, if he wanted to marry you. No, but not, not at the moment. We were both okay. like on a track. Okay. We were both kind of like on a timeline and I was just complacent. Like I loved him, but I wasn't like fully fulfilled because of the, the physical part. Get a dildo. Pleasure yourself. <laughs> That's I don't care about I, that it. was my solution. I know that was but, my, my solution. But, but 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 you moved in with a guy without making him commit to you. 
And you say he wanted to marry you. How do you know that? Because we spoke about it. And, and when we broke up, he even said, um, you know, I really thought this was it. Like, we were both very emotional. And All right. Let, let me help you ladies out. Men who want to marry you go buy a ring. They don't do all this stuff. Men, this is why, I mean, haven't you heard stories where women meet a man and under six months they're married and it seems like everything went so fast and then yeah. you've got four years because that's what a man who's, who wants to get married does. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do these baby steps. But if you're moving in fear, he's moving in fear. Y'all don't need to be together. Right. So I appreciate it. Though. I'm going to go on to the next part. See, ladies, I'm going to tell you this. Like it or not, you're not picking the kind of men you're not you, you want for women who say they're ready for marriage if you i will tell you i have seen too many men decide when a woman when they're ready to get married they go looking for a wife and they don't wait because men are like uh i'm ready to get married let's move on men are not trying to spend three four january's together with you as a girlfriend let's get to it we got shit to do that whole perpetual high school shit is real. Petro, high school or college. Why are you moving in with somebody? We're moving in together. Uh, you move in with your husband. The reality is a lot of you ladies, maybe not in her case, you know, in the first woman's case, you end up falling in love with what that dick do. Cool. This is why I played what I played at the beginning. For the people who weren't paying attention, who weren't here at the beginning, I'll play it again so you guys can understand how we got here. I uh, can play what, so how we got here. So, I don't know what I'm expecting to, what am I looking for? For me, being in a relationship for one year versus uh, us getting married straight away because there's nothing that you're not gonna know about someone without being with them anyway. But I'm not going to waste time and how can I say this? I'm not gonna allow time for me to have premarital sex, you know, because I'm not gonna, if you're not having sex with a person, you're not gonna stay that long with them before you get married, okay? We're not just gonna sit around and talk. So we get married to prevent us from fornicating, from possibly having premarital sex. We're you know, almost there. As I say. So that's why we tend to get married. And also, if things go wrong, then they go wrong. But this is why your father is there to vet your man. This is why the families are so involved. To be that net, if something does go wrong, the family is there. And the family has already vetted that person for me. My father already spoke to my husband. My father already knew the type of man my husband was. Men tend to see things in other men that women can't. I don't know why, but from what I've seen here is like, Girls, we tend to be kind of slow when it comes to picking <laughs> partners because it's hard for women to get past that adrenaline, that adrenaline of like, oh, I like this guy because he's exciting and he, you know, he makes me feel so butterflies. But my father knew how to pick a stable man for me. He knew how to pick one that was a hardworking man who wasn't going to let bills get behind, let things just happen. So I, I hope that answers your question that's the essence of what it is you don't know how to pick that's why so many modern women are by themselves you don't know how to pick and you're emotional you pick on the butterflies instead of picking on the substance the character that's why so many women i want a high value man because to you to many women i think well that's character that's a part of it but what if a man's not one of the top 10 percent? what if he's just in the what if he's right there with you? Average or above average. You still want butterflies. I'm pointing out the fact. You're taking too long to pick. You're taking too long to pick. And it would be different if you were taking a long time to pick and it was working. It's not. Take too long to pick and then find out after you've been with somebody for three, four, five years, we moved in, we got married, and we were divorced after six months. All right, you know what? 
this was actually a good show. I'm going to take that first clip. I'm about to upload this to YouTube because that first part, she was being honest. And I thank her for calling in because everything was right there. It's all right there. Hi. It's all right there. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, how old are you? I'm 22. 22. 22. You're a bit young for this conversation. Are you sure? I mean, we had to ask you some questions. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm talking. Wrong answer. I'm sure. Don't ask me if I'm sure. I'm sure. 22 years old, you got to ask some questions. You're not even at this point. But I will tell you one thing. At 22, between the age of 22 and 25 is when you should be trying to get married instead of being out on the CC. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do smart answers. He don't like black women. No, I don't do that with nobody. All right. So you were here earlier. You came back last week. All right. I'm going to build off this first part and we're going to expand this. I'm going to do this on part two on, on um, YouTube because we need to start talking about how as jacked up as it is today, how to get from here to there. My suggestion Modern women, here it is. Like I tell the men, do it afraid, do it scared. But you got to do it. There is nothing you're going to be able to find out that's going to give you 100% assurance you're making the right choice. You're just going to have to jump in the deep end. You're going to have to try. And just like, like the woman said, if it, if it fails, it fails. Your relationships are failing. You might as well have a failed marriage. But the only failure is if you decide to not work. Most of the time, the relationships are failing is because you guys are filing. You're leaving. What we're starting to see is the problem with relationships is the problem with commitment and relationships with men. But the, the, this is starting to show that we've been told it's with men. But how come so many modern women can't get, can't keep? Can't get, can't keep. All right. Till the next time, your godfathers. Till next time, your godfather's out.